What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Farm Sim 22 new mods and updates. Um, let's see, where did we last leave off? Oh yeah, here we go. Rally Track Pack. This is out by X Harris Holes Welton. I hope I'm saying that right. Accessory pack for rally tracks. With this you can set up rally routes on every map. Uh, the concrete block, signpost, signpost, ramp small, ramp medium, ramp big, Ramp double X, ramp triple X, pylon, and tire. Have fun with it, and the change log was they added a new object ramp, added new object ramp, added new object, added new object. Okay. We had the Flegel Combine Bale Fork. This is out by Rick Black Label TWD Modding. This pack contains one bale spike from Flegel, Flegel Combine Fork. Price is $780, category bale loaders. Configuration, tower 500 slash 100 or 1,000 millimeter. Change log, tower configuration added. Flegel Dolly EA. Uh, this is an update as well. Adjusted driver or driving characteristics, minor adjustments. Uh, we have the 30 inch flatbed auto loading trail pack. Uh, is this an update? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's an update. They added support for the FS22 Universal Auto Load Mod. They added real lights to the strobe lights so they will reflect off the surroundings. Added gamepad button controls to adjust the dividing floor for the livestock trailer configuration along with the goose deck and pin hitch heights. Okay. Uh, what else we got there? Crossetto SPL Pack. This is also an update. They added new connection hoses and added new configurations. We have the Crescetto SPL Pack additional features. This is also an update aligned with the crossplay version. The Class Convio Flex Pack. This is an update. Uh, let's see. Update. They added new configuration laser pilot. At improved Convio Flex 1380. Added decals and adjusted materials. Uh, the Ca Case IH Axle Flow Series. This is out by Max 26. The Axle Flow 1400 price is 100,000 to 115,000. It's 112 to 210 horsepower, 4400 to 63 or 6340 liters. So you get the drift of what this whole thing is saying, but this I believe is an update. They changed the light colors, they changed 2100 series color, added the US version 1400 and 1600 series, and they fixed the long pipe animation on 1400 series. Okay, medium farmhouse. This is out by Raider. A residential house with a sleeping function. Price is $45,000. Daily upkeep, $10. Okay, we have the pack of five rustic machine sheds. It's out by Rock Hound. Uh, is this an update? No, it's not. It's a large rustic machine shed. This is a large storage shed to bring your equipment in and out of the weather. The, there are working indoor lights for nighttime use and working spotlights outside of the shed. With the working doors at either end and two hangar type doors on the front getting your equipment in and out of the will be a breeze. There are skylights in the roof which you may also open and close. This is There is a built in lanto on the front of the implements and tools. Each shed has a paintable roof to suit your needs so don't forget to scroll through the colors before you place the shed on the ground. There are five optional configurations to choose from. Okay. Uh, you get what the drift is about this. I'm not going to go into reading the whole thing. Uh, Garage for Machines is out by VN11.0. It's a garage for machines where you can store your machines. Price is $45,000. Daily cost, $75. VDI Sheds. This is out by Vertex Design. This shed can be used to store machinery or grain. Price is $7,500 to $6,500. Upkeep $25 a day. Uh, the Cow Husbandry Pack is out by Lancey Boy. Yay, this finally came out. Been waiting for this. Cow Husbandry Set. Cow Barn with Open Grass Yard. Price is €250,000. Euro, Daily upkeep €150. Euros. Animals, 200 cows. Enclosed Cow Barn. Price is €200,000. Daily upkeep €100. Euros. 125 cows. So we want to thank Glancy Boy for bringing that to the to PC and console. Vaderstad Rapid A 
800 special. Uh, this is out by Timber Taz. Rapid A800 special. Price is $159,500. Capacity 3100 liters. Work speed 18 kilometers per hour. Working with 8 meters. Required power of 240 horsepower. Optional. Extra work light. <coughs> Beacon. Rear attacher for roller with reverse camera. Pipe for front fertilizer. Tank Kuhn T F1512. Vader Stat FH2200. Or Kloss Saddle Tracks. Extra attacher, packer wheel, wing support wheel, and track eraser uh, tines. Okay, that's out by Timber Taz. You want to thank him for bringing this to PC and console. We have Seppi M Mini Forced CL175 out by Black Eyes Modding. Uh, can be applied to medium sized compact loaders. Mini Forced CL chops branches of wood up to 20 centimeters in diameter. Uh, by removing branches, bushes, wood, and stumps, the fine shredded material remains and will soon turn into good soil. These shredders mounted on a compact loader easily reach areas that are difficult to access. Price is $12,000, working with $1.75. Okay, getting into the last mods before we get into the new maps that came out. We got the Lemkin Topaz 140 out by Nico Pix. The versatile Topaz Colt pre-cultivator is a big all-rounder for many farms. Farmers using non-plow tillage value is in input using interchangeable wing shares when front mounted or with suitable flat shares when rear mounted for a deeper uh, loosening without mixing. Working with 3 to 4 meters, working speed 15 kilometers an hour, power required 100 horsepower to 120 horsepower, and price is $15,900 to $16,900. American Flatbed Pack, out by Gamer Designs. American Flatbed Pack, with multiple configurations for transporting all your products. American Flatbed, price is $22,000. Configurations, flatbed, forestry, lumber. Wheel configurations, dual, spread, tri-axle. Shorty Flatbed is $16,000. Configurations, flatbed, forestry, and lumber. Wheel configurations, dual, spread, or tri-axle. 669 Dolly. Price is four thousand. Axles, two axles, suspension, spring, air ride. All trailers have of rear attacher options. We'll add auto load for bales in the future. Okay. We have the Lizard uh, Banderanti Brazil. This is out by Conta Camigo Modding. Lizard uh, Lizard, bleh, Lizard SUVs in Brazil are very important for the country's growth. Price is fifty-five thousand. Power two hundred horsepower. Max speed 80 kilometers an hour. Optional colors, bodywork, coupling, and stickers. Bodywork 1. Attachable only to the Bandaranti Lizard modification. Price is $25,000. In this bodywork option, you can get objects to your property quickly and efficiently. Bodywork 2. Attachable only to the Bandaranti Lizard modification. Price is $25,000. In this bodywork option, you can get objects to your property quickly and efficiently. Okay. We have the Blizzard T30 out by Kaztan18 Hatchback Modding. T30 tractor with many configuration options. Base price 19500 power 30 horsepower, top speed 26 kilometers per hour. Configurations, tires, front weights, wheel weights, colors, hood engine, wheel weights, rims, and dummy grill. Cabin, lights, mud flaps, attachers, front fenders, and hood. So we want to thank them for bringing this to PC and console. American Farmlands, out by TK Farms. Welcome to American Farmlands, a sandbox style map for those with a creative imagination. Map details, American Midwest feel, sandbox style play, working all AI routes, starter farm with one field, new farmer mode, train, grain cell point, bale cell point, train cell point, animal dealer, vehicle shops, small to large farmland sizes, all 62 farmlands are buyable, 100 wooden collectibles, precision farming ready, custom map features, custom, custom animal food for sheep, cows, and chickens, additional paintable textures, additional paintable foliage, paintable fields, Midwest U.S. seasonal weather integrated, custom crop prices, and custom soil map. Happy farming. So you want to thank TK Farms for bringing this to PC and console. Hills of Tuscany. This is out by Johnny X Pro. 
Welcome to Tuscany. Every hill has a village. Every village has a story. Every story has a secret to tell and experience. This map is set in Italian territory, especially in the Tuscany region. The map is part partially real and was developed in an essential way to make the game enjoyable and smooth. Main characteristics. Mapped with 102 fields, mostly hilly, of different form and dimensions. Fields created with the possibility of being combined. Vineyards of red and white grapes. Intensive production olive groves and trees with umbrella machine harvesting. Greenhouses with plantation and nursery. Complete farming company with, the, with four fenced areas for farms, silos, garages in Italian style. The production chains of the base game are scattered all over the map. <coughs> All the products of the game can be sold in different shops. Five areas can be bought to install new productions or to build new customized farms. The map is ready for precision farming and uses a customized map of the ground. Wild, uh, yeah. Wide forest areas. Game suggestions. Purchase tractors with power appropriate to the implement. If you want to use the you bleh, if you want to use of helpers, it is recommended to manually work the perimeter of the field at least twice and then proceed up and down. Medium-sized vehicles and tools up to 8 meters are recommended. So we want to thank Johnny X Pro for bringing this to console and to PC. That's it for all new mods and updates. Stay tuned. I'm pretty sure there'll be more this week. And as always, stay farming, my friends.